name's Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist. I'm going to show you how to create clouds in Illustrator. So the cool thing about Illustrator is it has a couple of different paintbrushes that you can use um, that can easily portray the image of clouds. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just um, I've filled in my background or drawn a shape in my background um, for the sky. And below my line segment tool, there's the paintbrush tool, so I'm going to click that. And up in the top here, you've got your brush option. Now, we're creating clouds, so we kind of want that wispy-ish, um, kind of like, I guess we want the cloudy look to our brush. So I'm going to select a couple of different brushes. Um, and the cool thing is, once you've selected them, their options will come up on the side right here. Um, so none of these, well, I guess some of the, this, okay, like, so for this example, this brush right here, I'm going to up my stroke to like seven or eight and your stroke is all the way up here and just make sure your stroke is filled in and not your fill. So make sure your fill has that red line going through it and your stroke should not have the red line. It should be white. And so then you can start playing around with, uh, your options. And my lat line is too thin, so I'm going to make it thicker. Um, and so then you can play around with a bunch of different brushes. I actually selected the watercolor brushes because they have a really nice consistency to them. So I'm going to go ahead and change the weight of that. And you can draw them over each other too, and this will give them that overlapping color sort of thing. Because clouds are very thin, so you want them to have a paper thin consistency when you're drawing them. Um, and like I said before, play around with different brushes because um, there's a whole bunch of different ones that can portray clouds really well. Um, but the point is, is that when you're done, you'll get that nice cloudy look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select ink. And let's see. You can use hand-drawn brushes too. They have some nice ones. Or um, the grunge brushes are pretty nice too. And one thing to keep in mind is that the thicker your brush, the more bizarre your line is going to be. So um, when drawing your lines, just keep that in mind. I think this one's probably the best one so far. My name is Alex, and this is how you draw clouds in Illustrator. Thank you.